Hey, New Horizon, happy Tuesday to you. It's Pastor Mark. I hope you're having a great day today. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving season as well. Hope you're able to gather with some friends and family and eat big and, and get some rest and such. And we always think about those who maybe weren't able to be with loved ones. And perhaps it's a reminder of those who have passed recently and such. And, and so let's all redirect our expectations for the holidays. It's a time to connect with God and one another. And if we put our energies in that, I believe God will deliver the goods. And we're transitioning now from Thanksgiving into the Advent season. Advent meaning the coming of Christ. And so we celebrate the coming of our Savior. In fact, our message series is called The Name Above All Names. And we're considering all the different names used for Jesus, for the Savior, during the Christmas stories and the Gospels. And last Sunday, it was the name of Jesus. And that phrase, the name of Jesus, is used throughout the scriptures because it's possible. Powerful. Jesus is an English word for a Greek word, for an Aramaic word, for a Hebrew word, for Yeshua. Yeshua, the Yah coming from Yahweh, Jehovah, the name of God, and Shua coming from Hosea, and that means saves. God saves. That's what the name Jesus means. Jesus came to save, and indeed he does. With his cross and resurrection, he saves us from sin, death, hell, and the grave, the wicked one. But let me tell you, friends, it's a daily occurrence in our lives, too. He saves us from ourselves, and he saves us in the midst of heartbreak and heartache and disappointment and hardship, and we call in the name of Jesus, 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 and we pray in the name of Jesus. That's not a magic word. It's the key that fits the lock, that opens the door, that we might be face to face with our God, the name of Jesus. Let's trust Jesus and let's walk in the name of Jesus and do all things for the glory of Jesus, shall we? I'll tell you, it's a great reason to get out of bed in the morning. And this week, we've got some great things. Today is Giving Tuesday, if you're not aware of that. Kind of a national phenom, you know, and people give to all kinds of different organizations. And we've chosen Restoration Urban Ministries for our Tuesday Giving Day. And if you'd like to, you can go right now to our website. And in the pull-down menu on our giving page, you'll find Restoration Urban Ministries. And you can help those guys, help people in our community. I'll put a link down below and you can click on that as well. Tomorrow night, we resume our midweek discipleship and we're going to have fried chicken. It's awesome. We all love fried chicken and maybe we're hungry again after Thanksgiving when we swore we would never eat again. And so come on in, 545, we're going to have a meal together. We had a huge turnout last time we did this. And then we go to discipleship for all ages, from our kids and teens and adults. I think you'd really, really like it. In fact, my core class tomorrow, we're going to we're going to learn how to share our faith. And I don't think we talk enough about that, and so we're a little bit bashful about it. So come on in and let's think about it. Let's learn. Here comes Saturday, too. We're going to serve at Salt and Light at 10 a.m. till noon. Come on by. It's the 1819 Philo Road in Urbana, and I'll meet you in the lobby, and we'll serve together. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it, especially in the Christmas season. And man, it's just a time to serve people. And that evening is Gingerbread Bash. It's for our kids and their families at 6 p.m. till about 7.30. Santa's going to show up. We're going to have photographs, a meal together. Come in your pajamas because we're going to have breakfast for dinner and, and crafts and stories and games and all kinds of fun. And we'll put the link below as well so you can click and, and save a table for you and your family, maybe a grandchild, whoever it might be. See, good things because his name is Jesus. You shall give him the name Jesus. Friends, let's reach out to that name today and every, name, every day. Let's name that name. Let's speak that name. Let's share that name. And let's celebrate that name this Christmas season. Love y'all. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. Bye-bye.